Have you heard about the grid rules in connection with the social security disability case, and you're wondering how they may apply in your situation? My name is Caitlin Wildoner, and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. In this video, we will talk about the social security disability grid rules. The grid rules are a set of guidelines used by the Social Security Administration to evaluate disability claims and determine eligibility for Social Security disability insurance and supplemental security income benefits. The grid rules take into account an individual's age, education, work experience, and residual functional capacity, or RFC, to assess their ability to perform substantial gainful activity in the national economy. The grid rules consist of a grid chart that combines four factors, the exertional capacity or your physical abilities or RFC, the skill level, age, and education. Each grid cell corresponds to a specific decision indicating whether the claimant is considered disabled or not under the grid rules. The decision is based on the claimant's RFC, age, education, and transferable skills. The grid rules primarily apply to cases where a claimant has a significant impairment that limits their ability to perform basic work activities, but may not meet the criteria of a specific impairment in the listing of impairments or the blue book. The grid rules can be used as a framework for making disability determinations, but they are not absolute. In some cases, the Social Security Administration may deviate from the grid rules based on individual circumstances and additional factors that are not accounted for in the grid chart. It's important to note that the grid rules may not apply to every disability case, especially if the claimant's impairment is severe or unique. In such cases, the Social Security Administration may rely on other evidence and assessments to make a disability determination. Please keep in mind that the grid rules can be complex and that their application may vary depending on the specifics of each case. Consulting with a disability attorney can help provide personalized guidance and assistance in understanding how the grid rules may or may not apply in your specific situation. Thanks so much for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.